Okay. One. Well. Two. Uh -huh. Three. Yep. Oh. Push, 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 push. All right, so we're at the gym. We're about to get warmed up. I am ready, man. This is one of them days where I just feel like, once again, I could just run through a wall. Today we have assisted benching. So we're benching heavy with multiple reps on top of having assistance. So the main point of today's workout will be about the top end motion of our bench press. So you'll see we'll have a top end motion work and then a bottom end motion and then we'll have a full motion work. All of them, are, we're, we're working the full range of motion, but there's a little bit more emphasis. One exercise has a little bit more emphasis, or one or two exercises have a little bit more emphasis on certain ranges of the bench press. And today, it's about that top end range and like maximal effort today. So let's go ahead and get it. I'm about to get warmed up, do my whole spiel. You know, I still warm up like an athlete. So we'll do some skeeger. You can do a rower or a stairmaster or assault bike, whatever it is, get the heart rate going. I like to get the heart rate going up and then um, do my a little bit of uh, mobility plyometric stuff on the turf and then you're gonna get to it. For those actually what I like to do, I'm gonna do four sets of 250 meters to get warmed up before I do my other warm up stuff. I also like doing this because you get a little bit of some back, some tricep work in. So definitely warm it up and get moving. I'll uh, get the blood flow and the muscles that I need on bench days. That's what I like doing this machine. You guys already know the deal. Pull apart, 10 separations, 10, and then come in. Elbows turned in, boom, 10 reps. And then we do pull ups as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done real quick. That's for the warm up. And then we're gonna get straight to the bench. That's gonna be the first thing we do. Uh, use up the energy where we need it first, and then we do all the extra shit. All right, so now we got bench press. We're gonna work up to the higher 400s and then we're gonna use the slingshot. Now the slingshot assists at the bottom position of your bench press, kind of giving you what it is, a slingshot effect. So as you're coming down, you're getting more assistance and as you're going up, you're getting more of that feel in the triceps and that topper in motion. That's the, that's the area that's being worked the most because you're getting assistance from the bottom, from that bottom pop, basically. It's kind of like that, once you get a band, a slingshot. And if you don't have this, what you can do is get in a power rack and you'll put bands on top and you'll connect the bands reverse. Instead of having the bands pulling more, adding more resistance, you're having the bands take away resistance, right? So you're being able to push out, basically push out that bottom position a lot easier and uh, get, more, get more work in. So therefore, we're gonna get started, get warmed up. It'll be a quick, easy warm up, 45s, 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 and then we'll have our sets with the slingshot. Last warm up set, 475. And then we'll bring it out the slingshot and do our working sets. <laughs> so, this right here is the slingshot. It's going to help me stay around my top end strength while still being able to get reps and sets in without full on fatiguing myself, but just fatiguing myself in the right spots, which is I want to make sure those triceps are being worked heavily. So once again, I get that, it comes down, I get that assistance out the bottom, right? And then as it comes up, less, less assistance is being has happening and I'm really having to push for myself. So this is going to help me get through that. And once again, if you don't have this, you attach bands. If you're in a rack, you put the bands up and attach it to this. So that way, as you're going up, it's helping you go up versus down. We have a down day too. We have, we have opposites of everything.
One, well, two, uh -huh. three. Yep. Oh. Push, 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 push. Come push. on. Fuck, bro. Oh, my fuck. fucking alarm. My phone alarm. Fucking fuck, bro. My fucking alarm threw me off, bro. Fuck. Damn, man. Pissed off. Damn, bro. It pissed me off, bro. I randomly was like, bro, I can hit 545 today. I mean, 545 or 540, whatever today. And my fucking, I don't even know why the, like, why the fuck do I have a 1030 alarm in the first place? It goes on, it cuts off my music, it throws me off. And then on top of that, it cut off my video. I mean, I still have it here, but bro, that shit just, that shit just pissed me the fuck off, bro. Like why the fuck? Why, like why the fuck is that even a thing? Like it, why, you can you can let the alarm go off and still have a fucking oh uh, bro that shit just nah that made me mad yo that pissed me off. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that was a bad one. I didn't catch it right. I'm gonna do this for reps. Depending on how I feel, it's gonna be around. I did one set already, but, and then I went, because I was feeling good and I knew I could hit 545 today, even though some circumstances fucked me up, I'm coming back down. So we still got two to three more sets left at this weight. Two. Three. Shit. Now I managed to do it without right now, but when you're doing this, when you're doing this day right here, where you're working around your max, have a spotter or be in a power rack with pins up so you can, you know, safely dispose of the bar just in case you don't get sets. Because even myself, I'm, I'm cutting it close right now, but I kind of have that guy, a bit of a weird second gear sometimes uh, that saves my ass. So. I'm just, I'm just like, y'all know, there's people around too, my homies right here too, so, so I'm not too worried. And I, I know how to dump the bar also, but yeah. Oof. 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 So we all know triceps is the last defense, or we all should know. Triceps is the last defense when it comes to bench press. Sometimes that lockout is pretty tough. And not only the lockout, but the lock in. When you unrack that bitch and you feel sturdy, the triceps make a big difference. Sometimes I know, I know majority of the time, I know lifting, lifting off by myself, like, oh yeah, I got this, you know what I'm saying? And like, when you have that, when your triceps are strong, when you have a nice sturdy lockout, when you have that conditioning to hold it out, that's gonna be a confidence booster because you're gonna feel that strength, you're gonna feel that power and you're not gonna, you're gonna start to not second guess yourself. Because a lot of times second guessing yourself is what takes you out that mental, man. And, and you have the strength, but you think it too much, you feel me? So be confident in your first thought, you know? I can get this, you know what I'm saying? Now don't be the person that's delusional. And a lot of people are delusional, be like, yo, I just hit 315 last week for two. You think I'm gonna hit four or five today? Like, Absolute the fuckly not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Some people are fucking, some people, some, I, I kid you not, a lot of people are like pushing it when it comes to what makes sense. Like you don't just up and go like 80 pounds, you know, after just trying to fucking, fucking um, PR last week, you know, like what? Like, no, you just barely got that last thing you think you can add on that. Like people, there's people like that and it's crazy. But anyways, we are going to get, so anyways, we have four sets, um, high repetitions with these 15 to 20 reps. So we're starting to, we're, we're, we're building volume. We're still building strength. We're adding on top of what we just did, um, but we're hammering out right now. All right, so now we're moving off the shoulders. We're doing the, the secondary muscles involved. 
in our bench press. We're giving a break on, we're done with the chest stuff because it's still a little bit more triceps and then we transip, we transition out of the movements that involve the triceps. So this will be the last movement that involves the triceps that we're doing. We're gonna work between eight to 12 reps for three to four sets. So I'm gonna do my warm up set right now, you know, maybe like 15 reps. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into our actual full on sets. So we're going back to pull-ups. You saw me doing for warm-ups, but now we have weighted pull-ups, four sets of eight reps. All right, y'all, that is it for the day. Be looking out for the next video for bench press. So I'll show you days two or day three. I ain't gonna show you both. I'll show you day two, a day three of the week, and then I'll show you a day of the next week. And then the program will be dropping. After all that, you guys decide, but I'm giving you a little bit of taste of what to expect. Also, show your boy some love. Rule one supplements, code aftermath. Go ahead and run that link up, run my code up. You already know what it is. Supporting the videos, supporting the content, supporting the knowledge, supporting the entertainment, and then um, bringing it all. And uh, catch you guys later.